had an opportunity to go to Midway Island, way out there at the outermost part of this beautiful island. And I met a lot of wild creatures there, including a bird. But this bird named Wisdom was banded in the 1950s. So we know how old she is. And we know that she has flown thousands of miles voyaging over the sea. And surely in that time she has seen changes. The way those of us who've lived a few decades have witnessed changes, more change than during all preceding human history. Wisdom is a story of hope um, for, for all of the environmental problems in the world. Um, wisdom is alive and thriving, as old as she is, and, and it's a testament to the health of Papahanaumokuakea and the health of that system and the work um, that's gone on to protect and conserve that and to understand that place for generations and millennia. So albatrosses are particularly good at giving you a sense of the health of the ocean on a global scale because they fly so far. So every season, uh, Wisdom goes out foraging and can fly about 10,000 miles in a shopping trip. She goes all the way up to the Bering Sea. She goes way over to the, the Western North Pacific. Um, she's flying tens of thousands of miles every year and sampling the prey, the food in the ocean from this huge area. So we get information about what kind of contaminants are out there affecting the food. So there's a lot of ways that an albatross is sampling or telling us about the entire North Pacific. After traveling thousands of miles each year, Wisdom, the oldest documented bird in the wild, returns to Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge with a belly full of food for her newly hatched chick. We have some super exciting news to announce. Wisdom, the world's oldest known bird in the wild, who is at least 65 years old, she might be older, her egg just hatched on February 1st. It was an egg she laid at the end of November, just right after Thanksgiving. And for the last two weeks, sitting on the egg has been Wisdom's mate. Once the egg hatched just last week, on February 1st, he continued to try to feed the chick, although there wasn't much left in his stomach for him to feed the chick with. So we're anxiously waiting for Wisdom's return, and she showed up last night and with her belly full. Her healthy offspring will aid a new generation of navigators to find distant shores beyond the horizon. I think of wisdom in her voyages out every year, coming back to the same place. And I think of the voyagers taking off on this worldwide expedition, this mission. And there's, a, there's some kind of, of element here of synergy. This is a moment in time as never before and maybe as never again to take this knowledge, take this wisdom and change the way we do things. We, we have to. We have to shift our consumption of the natural world into making peace with nature, making peace among ourselves. This is the moment to secure for, for the kids coming along, whether they're the young birds who are taking off on their voyages or whether it's our own children. We have a chance to get it right. This is Kapuro back with OEV TV, home of the Worldwide Voyage. To learn more about Mala Mahonua, visit hokulea.com. Aloha.